my fascination with the dark web was an unquenchable thirst for the unknown. A desire to explore the hidden corners of the internet where secrets festered like a dark underbelly. But it was one fateful night, driven by the allure of the forbidden, that I stumbled upon a digital enigma that would change my life forever. The mysterious world of dark web mystery boxes. The whispers of these enigmatic packages had always intrigued me. Stories and rumors circulated on forums and cryptic websites. Tales of unsuspecting buyers who had received boxes filled with the macabre, the inexplicable, and the cursed. Despite the chilling tales, I was drawn to the idea of a dark web mystery box like a moth to a flame. With my heart pounding and a sense of trepidation, I initiated a Tor browser session and ventured into the shadowy realm of the dark web. The path to the mystery box was cryptic and fraught with danger. I encountered numerous dead ends and red herrings before I finally found a seller who claimed to offer a truly unique experience, an Enigma box. The listing was shrouded in mystery. There were no explicit details, only a vague promise of an unparalleled journey into the unknown. The seller's pseudonym, Cyphermaster, added an extra layer of intrigue. His reputation on the dark web spoke of someone who dealt in the extraordinary. With my curiosity reaching its zenith, I reached out to Cyphermaster and made the arrangement. The transaction was executed in Bitcoin, adding a layer of anonymity to the entire affair. A feeling of unease gnawed at me as I awaited the arrival of the Enigma box, but I couldn't turn back now. One evening as the sun dipped below the horizon, a nondescript package arrived at my doorstep. It was unmarked, wrapped in plain brown paper, and gave no indication of its contents. My hands trembled as I opened it, revealing a simple wooden box adorned with ornate carvings and symbols. The box was locked, its mechanism unlike any I had encountered before. It took hours of fumbling and deciphering intricate puzzles to finally unlock it. As the lid creaked open, I was greeted by a display of oddities that defied explanation. Among the items was a tarnished pocket watch that seemed to tick backward, a vial of luminescent liquid that emitted an eerie glow, and a bundle of faded photographs depicting scenes from a bygone era. There was also a small leather-bound journal filled with cryptic writings and drawings. As I sifted through the bizarre collection, the feeling of unease deepened. The items seemed to carry an energy, a weight, that filled the room with a palpable tension. The journal, in particular, caught my attention, its pages containing the ramblings of someone obsessed with uncovering the secrets of the universe. I began to read the journal, and its contents became more disturbing with each page. The writer spoke of an ancient artifact, an object of immense power and malevolence, hidden away in a remote location. The journal detailed a series of cryptic clues and coordinates that would lead me to the artifact. My curiosity, coupled with a sense of foreboding, compelled me to follow the clues. With each step, the path grew darker, and I realized that I was being drawn into something far more sinister than I had ever imagined. The journey took me to an isolated, dilapidated cabin deep in the wilderness. The air was thick with an eerie silence and the moon cast long, haunting shadows on the overgrown path. As I approached the cabin, an overwhelming sense of dread washed over me. Inside, I found the final piece of the puzzle, an ancient, ornate key hidden in a dusty, cobweb-covered chest. With a trembling hand, I inserted the key into a hidden compartment within the cabin's walls, revealing a secret chamber that seemed untouched by time. In the center of the chamber lay the artifact, a grotesque, otherworldly object that seemed to pulse with a malevolent energy. As I reached out to touch it, a searing pain shot through me, and I could hear a chorus of whispers, each one more sinister than the last. In that moment, I realized the truth. The Enigma Box was a conduit to a realm of darkness and despair, a gateway to the unknown that could not be closed once opened. The artifact, a malevolent force beyond comprehension sought to consume me, to feed on my curiosity and desire for the forbidden. With every ounce of my being, I resisted the artifact's pull and fled the cabin, the whispers echoing in my mind. The dark web had promised the unknown, but it had delivered a nightmare that defied explanation. I returned the Enigma box to Cyphermaster, 
hoping to sever the connection to the darkness that had consumed me. As I disconnected from the dark web and the horrors it concealed, I knew that the Enigma box would forever haunt my dreams, a chilling reminder of the price I had paid for my insatiable curiosity. It was a moonless night when I first accessed the Tor browser, donning the cloak of anonymity that would be my guide and shield on this enigmatic expedition. The labyrinthine maze of the dark web stretched before me, a shadowy world with its own rules and hierarchies. I had heard whispers of its darkest secrets, tales of digital renegades and hidden treasures that piqued my curiosity. My initial steps on the dark web led me to forums where pseudonymous individuals shared cryptic knowledge and traded in whispered rumors. It was in one such forum that I encountered a mysterious thread titled Web of Shadows. The thread promised access to a trove of encrypted files that held the keys to unlocking the mysteries of our world. To gain entry, I had to navigate a series of riddles and puzzles, each more complex than the last. It was as though the dark web itself was testing my resolve and intellect, probing my worthiness to uncover its hidden truths. With each successful challenge, I earned the trust of those who guarded the secrets of the web of shadows. Finally, I was granted access to a digital repository unlike any I had encountered. The files contained within were a cryptic tapestry, a fusion of classified documents, obscure manuscripts, and encrypted messages. It was a labyrinthine treasure trove of information that promised to reveal the hidden facets of our world. As I delved deeper into this digital realm, my journey took an ominous turn. I stumbled upon a subsection of the dark web known as the Black Market Nexus. Here, the boundaries between the digital and the physical world blurred, and the prices of forbidden goods and services were paid not in cryptocurrency, but in the currency of morality. Within the Black Market Nexus, I found listings for illegal weapons, stolen identities, and even human trafficking. It was a grim reminder that the dark web was not just a repository of knowledge, but also a breeding ground for nefarious activities. My journey had veered into dangerous territory, and the consequences of my actions weighed heavily on my conscience. Amidst the darkness, I encountered a clandestine group known as the Seekers of Shadows. They were digital vigilantes, operating in the shadows to expose and dismantle the criminal enterprises that thrived in the darkest corners of the dark web. They offered me a choice to continue down the perilous path I had chosen or to aid them in their mission to bring those who dwelled in the shadows to justice. With the specter of moral compromise looming over me, I made a decision. I chose to collaborate with the Seekers of Shadows in their quest to unveil the malevolent forces that lurked in the digital underworld. Together, we infiltrated criminal networks, exposed illicit operations, and tipped off law enforcement agencies. As the months passed, our efforts bore fruit. Criminal enterprises were dismantled, and the dark web's veil of anonymity began to erode. It was a glimmer of hope in a realm dominated by darkness. My journey through the dark web had taken me to the brink of the abyss and back. I had navigated its treacherous waters, encountering the forbidden, the malevolent, and the heroic. In the end, I learned that the dark web was a reflection of the human condition, filled with both the worst and the best of humanity. As I disconnected from the dark web and returned to the surface of the internet, I carried with me a profound understanding of the digital realm's duality, a place where knowledge and danger, enlightenment and moral dilemmas coexist in a precarious balance. My journey into the unseen had forever changed me, leaving me with the knowledge that the shadows held secrets both dark and illuminating waiting to be uncovered by those brave enough to seek them out. My journey into the depths of the dark web began as an innocent exploration, a digital odyssey fueled by curiosity and the allure of the unknown. Little did I know that this virtual adventure would lead me to a realm of secrets, danger, and intrigue beyond imagination. It all started on a quiet night, alone in the dimly lit room of my apartment. The whispers of the dark web had always piqued my interest. A hidden corner of the internet where anonymity was king and forbidden knowledge lay waiting. 
Armed with the Tor browser and a growing sense of anticipation, I embarked on a voyage into this digital abyss. The labyrinthine pathways of the dark web were a maze of intrigue and peril. The first hurdle was to find a gateway, a portal into the clandestine world that lay beyond. After hours of sifting through cryptic forums and hidden websites, I discovered a link that promised access to the elusive realm. The initiation process was cryptic, as expected. I navigated a series of puzzles, riddles, and digital challenges that tested my intellect and resourcefulness. At times, it felt as though the dark web itself was scrutinizing my worthiness to enter its inner sanctum. After overcoming these obstacles, I was granted access to an encrypted chat room, a virtual meeting place for the initiated. In the chat room, shadowy figures with aliases like Cryptic Soul and Obscura Mystery congregated in the digital darkness. Conversations ranged from cryptic riddles to discussions about the esoteric and the unexplained. It was a virtual speakeasy, a place where the darkest and most elusive secrets were whispered among those who dared to tread these shadowy corridors. As I immersed myself deeper into the dark web, I encountered tales of the obscure and the macabre, stories of elusive hackers, underground markets peddling contraband, and rumors of digital assassins for hire. But it was the legend of the hidden archive that drew me in, the promise of a repository of forbidden knowledge beyond human comprehension. The path to this elusive archive was treacherous. It involved deciphering a series of encrypted messages, navigating virtual mazes, and proving my dedication to the pursuit of hidden truths. Days turned into weeks as I unraveled the complex web of clues that led me closer to the enigmatic archive. When I finally breached the archive's digital fortress, the contents were nothing short of astounding. It was a repository of classified government documents, encrypted journals and files containing untold conspiracies. It was as though the very fabric of reality was unraveled before my eyes. My obsession with the dark web intensified. I couldn't resist the temptation to delve deeper into this rabbit hole of mysteries. Each revelation only fueled my desire for more knowledge, more secrets, and more forbidden truths. But the more I explored, the more perilous the journey became. I stumbled upon forums where nefarious activities were openly discussed, drug trafficking, human trafficking, and more. It was a stark reminder that the dark web was not just a realm of enigma and curiosity, but also a sanctuary for criminal enterprises. As I navigated these treacherous waters, I found myself in a precarious situation. I had attracted the attention of a clandestine group known as the Watchful Eyes. They were the digital enforcers of the dark web, a vigilante collective that monitored and regulated the activities of those who dared to venture too far. The Watchful Eyes issued me a warning, a stark reminder of the risks involved in my quest for knowledge. They cautioned that the dark web was not just a playground for curiosity, but a realm with real-world consequences. It was a stark wake-up call that shook me to my core. In the wake of this encounter, I made the decision to disconnect from the dark web. The allure of the forbidden was undeniable, but the risks were too great. The journey had taken me to the brink of a digital abyss, and I knew that one misstep could plunge me into an irreversible darkness. As I severed my connection to the dark web and returned to the surface, I carried with me the knowledge that some secrets should remain hidden. The dark web had promised the unknown, but it had also delivered a chilling reminder of the thin line between curiosity and danger. My dark web odyssey had left an indelible mark on my digital soul, a reminder that the allure of the forbidden is a siren's call that can lead even the most curious into uncharted waters, where the price of knowledge may be higher than one is willing to pay. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe.